We are talking about the pouch of Douglas, and the first thing we need to establish or kind of go over is the fact that your abdominal cavity and many places in your body are actually divided into a series of hollow spaces. So here we have a tissue, connective tissue, called the peritoneum, and that is that shiny layer that you're seeing kind of spread out all through here. Now, in the body, we have organs that are retroperitoneal, like your kidneys, and you can kind of see the ureter here, and the kidney is going to be up there. So they are actually on the backside, retro, to the peritoneum. Now there are other organs that are kind of sandwiched in between or share this space. And then there are organs that are fully in the peritoneum. And that is the majority of your intestines and all of that stuff, which are not actually pictured here. So we could see the pouch of Douglas. Now I know right off there's going to be a whole lot of questions about what this floating structure here is. And that is actually the remnant of the umbilicus, the umbilical cord, your umbilical cord. This was the connection to your mom. There's a whole video on it. The pouch of Douglas is going to be this space right down here. And this is present in both males and females, but it is more pertinent to females because down in here, you can see this is the lowest point of the peritoneum. So now things that are introduced to this that are kind of floating or free floating or free draining into the peritoneum, such as an oocyte and egg from the ovary can actually float down into the pouch of Douglas and then later be fertilized by semen that find their way up into the abdominal cavity and end up, because of gravity or that corkscrewing motion, their search and destroy kind of thing, uh, and fertilize that egg. So this is a frequent site of ectopic, abdominal ectopic pregnancy. Now, the other thing that this site is known for is its role in endometriosis. And depending on your what theory you want to believe, remember, endometriosis its cause is unknown, but the pouch of Douglas, because of its positioning, is a frequent site for endometrial cells to be found. Uh, so anyway, that is the pouch of Douglas. And as usual, if you have questions, which you probably do, you know what to do.